So you have Greasy Gloves on a quest too and are wondering what to buy after running out all of the best free games and experiences available on standalone headphones. If you like active games, puzzles, or just want to cut or shoot the eternal shish out of something, we are here to help you settle into your new headset with some games that will keep you playing for hundreds of hours yet to come. In today's video, we're going to discuss why you should spend your first $100 on Quest 2 games. Also, where you should spend your $100. So without any further ado, let's get started. This list shown in the video is a great place to start if you're looking to burn close enough to a single Benjamin. Although, you should definitely check out our list of the best MetaQuest games now available, which includes pricing to help you out your hard-earned money. Each genre section breaks down pretty close to $100, including games to get your heart racing, shooter fanatics, puzzle nerds, fantasy world fanatics, and more. You can click on each category or choose and mix using the legend below. Multiplayer Shooting Madness Super Hot VR $25 if you have never had the chance to play the VR versions of the original Super Hot on PC, here's how it works. Every time you move, times move on. Stand still and the world stops. You would think it would be easy to win against the evil red crystals running towards you, but every move is a death sentence waiting to be carried out if you are not careful. Grab weapons, shoot, hit, die, repeat until you feel like Neo from The Matrix or John Wick from John Wick. You definitely feel like a version of Keanu Reeves in Super Hot VR. Sniper Elite VR $30. We have our complaints with the Sniper Elite VR campaign, but the Sniper experience is hard to match, putting it in line with the Sniper Elite franchise as a whole, including the creepy kill cam. You step into the shoes of an Italian resistance fighter and take on virtually the entire Wehrmacht as it chases out of southern Italy. Resident Evil 4 VR $40. We know this is way over the budget for single-player shooters, but you might also want to consider Resident Evil 4 VR for Quest 2 if you're looking for a little blast from the past. Fair warning, there are a lot of scenes that take place like movies in a black void, but it's still pretty amazing to step into the recently refinished and clearly decrepit world of Resident Evil and take on the role of an outsider while upgrading weapons and fighting for health potions every turn. Beat Saber $30 if you swear you don't have any groove, you may never have had the opportunity to cut a pair of lightsabers into flying directional blocks before. Rest assured, you'll find yourself honing your new Jedi skills to intoxicating EDM beats, but also a fairly broad musical genre today thanks to free and paid downloadable content. Even if you suck, if you play enough, you will definitely sweat. Pistol Whip $25 While you might think it belongs in the shooter category by virtue of, well, weapons, it's all about keeping the flow, dodging and diving into some really cool musics. Cloudhead Games has put a lot of love into Pistol Whip with a number of updates that have also brought new levels to the game, making it a must if you want to unknowingly burn some calories, glutes, quads, arms, and cardio. Synth Riders $25 Synth Riders is a bit like Beat Saber, but it has a much broader multiplayer mode allowing you not only to compete for the highest score while actively playing against friends, but with its new power-up update, you will be able to do a lot more. There's now a Mario Kart-style upgrade systems in multiplayer that allows you to upgrade songs to get the highest score or send special abilities to your opponents to slow them down. Heavy on electrifying synth wave music. Ragnarok $25 Buckle up your Viking helmet and get your hammers ready because Ragnarok's solo or multiplayer rhythm game will have you playing drums to a pounding, swinging beat to steer your Nordic ship into uncharted lands. Use your two hammers to smash the oncoming runes, compete against the competitions, and go wild with bands like, like Elstrom, Saltatio Mortis, for your swanch and wild rose. After the fall, $40. After the Fall is basically Valve's Left 4 Dead in VR. This 4-player co-op shooter pits you against hordes of zombies in a handful of linear levels, all typically dotted with shelters. Zombies aren't very intimidating as individuals, but when the masses start pouring out in all angles, you'll be happy to have a good team backing you and the weapons you have been looking for with the points you have picked up. You guessed it, shoot the zombies. Population 1, $30. Population 1 is a VR battle royale allowing you to team up in 25-player matches so you can climb, slide, run, and crawl to victory. You will be fighting against teams of avid gamers in this densely populated cross-platform shooter, so make sure you choose your team wisely. Onward $25 The Quest versions of Onward was widely vilified for reducing the PC VR experience when it went cross-platform, but it's still one of the best thousand sims on Quest. This mill sim online shooter is full of avid users, 
due to its realism, which means that you will have to use all kinds of military tactics to win against the other team. Communicate clearly, make sure you don't get past the crowd in Leroy Jenkins style, and be a good shooter. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, $40. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is one of the best quest games, bar none. You throw the user's headlong into post-apocalyptic New Orleans, take on rival gangs, kill walkers with a gun or sword, and run in hopes of getting back to base before the sun sets and you are attacked to death for the living dead. It's not an open world, but you'll probably forget it considering how large and detailed the custom levels are. Tell us in the comment sections your view on this topic. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you like watching our content, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.